I wanted to share with you the colors that I'm using for these two troop types. I've got these orcs and I got these riders of Rohan. These are used in the first scenario. I wanted to complete that number first. And so on both of the miniatures, they use a dark, uh, kind of a gray, I guess it's a gray color, but it shows up kind of almost black or silver or black used on the metal parts of the Basiliconum Gray. And then the, I believe uh, this is on the, the Orc miniature as well. I know it's on the Rider, the um, Wild Wood color. So those are used on both. So I have them right here. Um, also on the, on the uh, Orc, I believe, I got to refer to the Citadel app. I use that, the Citadel color app. The uh, Gore Grunta Fur. And the Flesh Terror is red, which you can't really see here. But if I turn this around, um, you can see his uh, clothing is this red color. And then, um, and then after that, uh, on both of the bases, they have a texture paint, the um, Astro Granite. And you can recognize that word from Blood Bowl. Um, and then they are painted a Steel, Le Steel Legion drab, which I'm not too keen on at this point, at least because of the scenic materials that I have, but I'm um, still experimenting with that. But then the rider has a lot more uh, variation in color, and so that's where these come up. Uh, the um, Agaras Dunes, um, is uh, it calls for uh, painting the hair different than the gold, but on um, on some of the riders, I just went with the gold, and I used this color actually on the mane of one of the horses. Uh, that that horse is right here. You see, it's really bright, and it's a contrast. It's a little bit of a duller color um, to the to the um, Nasdrag yellow, which is next. That's what the gold and the hair on the riders are. Just one coat. Yep, these these paints are great. I like them. And then uh, it calls for Gilliman Flesh, but I have used a shade color, which is the Reichlin Flesh Shade. And then the uh, Saigor Brown, which is a rich kind of brown as opposed to the wood brown color. On this model, you can see that the uh, you can see that the wood brown is. I want to say on the back of the shield and maybe on some of the leather parts, but if you look at his greaves and you look at his shield, it is a richer brown. I'm not sure about the shield, but definitely the greaves. Um, it has a kind of a reddish tone almost, a very warm tone. And then his cloak, this cool green color, and I'll probably do some of the shields this color. Not sure yet. I have seen him painted that way or with the green, the Militarum green. And lastly, on this this one, this is the first miniature I painted, this has the Black Templar both for the mane and the, um, the hide of the horse. Um, these are a little bit different, these other ones. This has the, um, I want to say, you know, I'm not sure. I don't know if this is the wood brown or if this is the Saigar brown. I think it's the wood brown, um, and then the agaras dunes for the t the mane, and then this one I wanted to vary the horses a little bit. Um, one of the men the, to look pretty uniform, but I wanted to vary the horses a little bit. And this one has um, the uh, the black templar uh, hide, and then uh, the wood brown for the mane and the tail. So I hope that uh, that gives you kind of an understanding of like what's going on, what's involved. Um, but all of the you see, it's just, it's just amazing. It's just one coat. Um, and I like it so far. And for painting 84 miniatures, um, that's going to go a long way um, as far as getting the project done. Um, I'm looking for detail, but um, not overdoing it. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned. Thanks.